Hello, I'm Darren Underwood, Chief Technology Officer here at Interval Zero. Today I'm going to review the RTX 64 memory architecture, which brings significant benefit of size to the developer. This information will help you develop software that will take advantage of RTX 64's unique native 64-bit S&P platform. To start, it's key to note that RTX 64 uses a similar architecture as the previous version of RTX. RTX 64 still leverages the Windows Memory Manager. This architecture reduces redundancy of services and provides for a robust and stable memory environment. By using the Windows Memory Manager, RTX benefits directly from the improvements in size and performance that Windows brings. Now let's take a look at the memory space. This slide shows current and historical memory types and sizes for Windows platforms. The slide shows the limits for both x86 and 64-bit Windows systems. However, let's focus in on the one that's relevant to our discussion of RTX 64. RTX 64 operates within the memory context of the Windows non-paged pool. This is important as it ensures that the memory is always available, ensuring deterministic behavior. However, the real importance of the slide is to demonstrate the large memory space available. This has huge implications on the types of applications that are now possible with RTX 64. Now let's take a look at the RTX 64 memory model. When the RTX 64 memory model is set to Windows mode, all memory allocation requests are forwarded to Windows and Windows fulfills the request. It's key to note that all these allocations are non-deterministic in nature. However, when in this mode, individual processes can be set and started to override the global setting and locally run in local memory mode. Now let's see how local memory mode compares. With RTX 64 in local memory pool mode, an initial pool allocation request is sent to Windows at RTSS startup. All allocations after that are made from the local pool using the RTX memory allocator. These allocations are deterministic. There are two features of local memory mode that should be noted, the auto expand and the auto shrink. Auto expand occurs when a memory allocation fails and RTX creates a secondary pool. Once that pool is no longer used, RTX is able to auto shrink or remove that pool from the memory pool. The local memory mode is the recommended mode for RTX 64. As we've seen over the past few minutes, understanding the memory architecture in RTX 64 is key to developing the best solution possible. Thank you and stay tuned for more technical training videos from Interval Zero.